Hey guys, hey! <laughs> um, we are just in Lytham this morning. It is a Sunday morning. Bright and breezy. It is bright and it's breezy and it's early. I've just finished a eight hour nine, <laughs> eight hour nine shift, eight hour night shift. And before we just come here for a little day out, I know it's probably really breezy, you probably can't hear what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, we thought we'd just come to Lytham for a bit. Have a nice little over the top of the dunes. <laughs> have a nice little spring day walk and see what it's like. Let's just show you guys the view because you don't want to look at my face, do you? So this is the view, it's the floor. <laughs> and then oh there we go, we're just getting over the dunes and there's a couple canoodling in the city. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Looks very Almost is a summer day. But looks can be deceiving it is early spring. We've parked over there on the road. We're not the ones that had needed the AA for once. And yeah, we're just gonna have a little walk onto the beach now. Give Einstein a bit give Einstein a bit of a stretch of his legs. Just a little fun fact for you Einstein fans, this Lytham St Anne's is where Einstein originated from. This Lytham St Anne's is a different one. I don't know. See, so yeah, Lytham St Anne's near Blackpool is where Einstein was born, where we uh, stole him from his parents. Hello everybody, I was born in Lytham. Sand all on your chin, mister. Oh. Yeah, Einstein's come home. So yeah. Go on then, mister. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite a few dogs on the beach today. They have a dog bin, but they also have possibly what we think are some of the more, more ugly bins. It's just a, a Perspex tube with some clear dags in, but yeah, it's lots of dogs on the beach. Now Einstein's having a great time, aren't you, Einstein? I don't like, I don't like the way you pointed the camera at me when you said there's lots of dogs on the beach. Oh, no. And over there is Lytham St Anne's Pier. We're going to head over there and then head into the city more. Mermaid's passes. Fish are born in or something. I've no idea, dog. Like fish eggs. Yeah, Einstein's having a great time, aren't you, Einie? Hey, so we're outside Costa now. He went in and got a couple of drinks for us. He got me a hot chocolate and you got, what was yours, Americana it's then? An Americana. And then we picked up a, what did you say, it was a plant based? Yeah, it's the Bosch. They do a plant based range. Einstein's loving it. Yeah, plant-based cookie, but I'm not very keen on it, but Ian likes it. I'm not that keen on it, if I'm honest. And I still got a treat from someone, which he won't eat, <laughs> so that's good. Anyway. We did bring our own treats that he can have, but we'll save those for later. And we're hoping to go to the Lord Derby, so we're not, for something to eat, so we're not going to fill up on food right now. But yeah, we'll just finish this and then... Head over to head over to there, do you reckon after that? To where? To the Lord Derby or is it gonna be I don't over? Know what's the stuff. We'll we might, we might have to just charity shop until until it's time to eat. <laughs> so we're just in the Lord Derby, which is a Green King. Mm -hmm. And we pick, we picked up the what's it called Ian? It's like a it's a big steak place. Steaks like um Fondue, fondue thing. yeah. So you get your camembert on top, you get some waffle fries, normal fries. I think you normally get a salad with it, but this I didn't have the veg, so I just yeah, it out. Michael and sizzling plate. But fun fact is that Ian did try and do eat this by himself as a challenge once, because it was part of a challenge once on I never managed it at no. the But yeah, it's pretty good. And it is dog friendly in it, and so it's just underneath the table. There he is. Hello, sweet pig. So we are back in the car now, just heading out of Lytham. It's a boiling, a boiling 13 degrees, which feels a lot hotter than it sounds. Yeah, normally if it's 13 
degrees in the house. I'm like in and freezing, still the heating on. But at the moment, it's absolutely boiling in this car. We had a nice little change, didn't we? We did, and there's some scenery for everyone. Oh, it's it's nice and sunny. Is I feel like the wind's not as windy now. Yeah, but Einstein got lots of attention. He did. Didn't you, boo boo? You've still got it, haven't you? Scenery for you there. It's a busy day now because all these cars parked up here. Yeah. You can just about see through the dirt on the windscreen. But yeah, it is nice and sunny. So, yeah, we're going to head off home now and have a bit of a break. What did we think of the food? The food was good, obviously. Definitely but, enough for two. Yeah, definitely. And um, obviously the staff were really nice. The girl had to apologise a few times because they didn't have the drink you wanted. Didn't have the the veg that comes with the what's it called? So she gave us some um, side salad. Side salad, which was nice actually. It was a bit of a, a change. A bit refreshing. So yeah, I'd give it definitely an eight out of ten. Um, but yeah, I'm. Tired now, I'm stuffed and just ready to have a bit of a sleep while he drives us home. So, we're gonna go home and just chill out, and now he's gonna sleep. And I might go to the gym, but I'll have to see. We'll see, we'll see. Hey guys, it's the next day, it's a lot rainier <laughs> here at uh, Wigan Robin Park Retail Park. Um, we're at the Greg's, just picked up. A bacon, what's it called? Oh, not bacon, sausage. So we got a sausage bag and we're trying the cinnamon lattes. It smells good, you know. We did also pick up two hash browns. We didn't know, we didn't know that Greg's did hash browns. And we were going to go to Costa, but we just wanted something quick and cheap. Cheap and, and cheerful. Because we are going to go have a look around m and but well, I think that's a different video. It, it probably will be, yeah. It might be out this one, but... <laughs> so yeah, I'll just try it in the cinnamon. I think for me it could have a bit more sugar. Well, not some sugar. It would be sweeter. That's nice. But I do like. Are you going to try um, your hash brown? Oh yeah, it's all good hash brown, I suppose. <laughs> I think this might be the first time we've ever sat in a Greg's to enjoy our Oh yeah, it just looks like a, a McDonald's hash brown. Oh, yeah. It just looks like a McDonald's in front of me. Is it McDonald's hash brown? Are they round? McDonald's? Oh yeah. The round McDonald's. Just like a standard one. It's been dry. Oh. Anyway. Hey guys, hey! I don't know how many of you guys watch TikToks or like go on TikTok or scroll on TikTok, but I saw this product on TikTok and I thought, oh my God, this looks amazing. You know, you see the people like putting stuff on TikTok and it's like, wow, that looks amazing. And so I brought both of them. I brought the Glow and the Invisible because I thought, I do like a, a dewy skin <laughs> look some, every now and again. And I brought it, and I thought, let's see what it's like. I put it on now, this is what it looks like on my actual face. And even though it looks kind of nice, I like the, the glowiness of it all, it kind of looks a little bit orange, but not unbearably orange. But it's very tacky on your skin. And I don't know what I think of it. After a couple of days of wearing it, I noticed I had like a bit of blotchiness there. There's like a blotchiness there and blotchiness there. So I've gone and stuck it on again, so obviously <laughs> I'll probably get more blotchiness, which I really should, maybe I should wash it off, actually. But yeah, I thought I'd try it, and I don't know what I think of it. I'm not 100% like set on it. It was like £8 for each tube, and they're like quite small, really. Like next to my head. I've got quite a big head. So, I don't know. 
Um, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Let me know if you think you've tried. If you, <laughs> let me know if you guys have tried it and what you think. Because the influencers on, on TikTok, they just tell you it's great. But then it feels quite tacky on my skin and it didn't get any less tacky through the day. But then it gives you a nice glow. But then I don't know if the blotchiness has come from putting this on. And then it's quite expensive as well. Like £8 for a tube. I don't know how long it lasts for. I suppose you put it on every day. Oh, it has got 50, uh, 50 plus SPF in it. And it does say that it's vegan and cruelty free. So that's got to be good, right? Isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pop out now and have a look for some... Uh, go look for some Easter donuts because um, Dunkin' Donuts looks like it's got loads of nice new Easter donuts. So I thought let's have a look at those and try them. You know, because I haven't put enough weight on already. <laughs> Hey guys, hey! Happy Easter! <laughs> what have we got for you today? Well, as we're filming this, it is the Thursday before the Good Friday. And we pumped, pumped, we... We're pumped! We <laughs> went in to Dunkin' Donuts to pick up the Easter range. And so let's have a look. So obviously lots of people will be getting Easter eggs and that sure all well and good, but we all know what an Easter eggs taste like. But look at these beauties. Aren't they pretty? So Talk us through a minute, what have we got, love? So there, that one there, it's a Dunkin' Break, which is Nutella icing, a biscuit crumb, a chocolate wafer bar, a.k.a. Kit Kat, with some chocolate drizzle. And the round hole with the, the eggs on it. <laughs> so believe it or not, that's called a mini egg sprinkle. Chocolate icing, rainbow sprinkles and some mini eggs. What's this one here? And it's next on... to that, it's the white chocolate fried egg, which is white chocolate filling and icing. So I've got vanilla icing and the fried egg gummies. What's this one at the bottom here with the mm. egg on it? Half an egg on it. So that one, believe it or not, is... I don't know. That is the chocolate caramel f egg. What? The chocolate? Cho oh, no. Yeah. So chocolate caramel filling and drizzle, vanilla icing and it's got... A bit of cream egg on top. What's this one here with the two eyeballs on it? That one is the strawberry chick, which is strawberry filling and icing, rainbow sprinkles with vanilla and chocolate decoration. And the last one. This one here looks like an hot cross bunny. And what's that one? That's actually called a hot cross yum, which is cinnamon cream filling, a glaze, cinnamon sugar and vanilla drizzle. So out of all of those, I'm most excited about the hot cross yum because I do love cinnamon. The other ones, they they are all very pretty, aren't they? Yeah. And we do personally rate. I feel like Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. They really get it. They really get it right, don't they? They do. And so obviously we've got a lot here. And as much as we'd love to eat them all for you right here right now. We have to think about keeping ourselves in this fabulous shape that we're in at the moment. <laughs> and so we will just be trying one. So we would do a poll, but we've not got time, so we'll just eat some of that hot cross yum. So we'll cut it in half and tell you what we think. So this is the inside of it, and that does look pretty you good. Can, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to try that. And so like we said, it's got a cinnamon cream as well as cinnamon sugar on top and oh. it looks yummy, feels nice and soft. So mm. let's give it a try for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, if you like cinnamon, that's really good. It's almost like the cinnamon pretzels but even better but like cinnabon as well yeah oh, it's got the crunch good. of the cinnamon sugar the moistness of the cream the softness of the donut is yummy mm. so as long as you like cinnamon it's a definite go-to for this easter 
I'm sure all the rest are going to be yummy, but I do think this oh, one would be so our favourite. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, if you like cinnamon and you've got a junk in nearby, we would highly rate these. Highly recommend that one. And obviously you can try some of the others, I'm sure they're nice as well, but those are a bit of us. Amazing. So yeah, just thought we'd share that with you. Because they are so pretty. They are, and Duncan's just always gets it right. The donut's nice and soft. And they look very aesthetically pleased, and I think you'll agree. If you're having a little Easter get-together, you'd really impress the I mean, other people. I mean, it was £10 for six of those. Yeah, which isn't... Obviously, it is not great, but it's... Oh, fancy looking donuts. It's like two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's like two pound. Less, less than two than pound of a, a donut. Which is that's good, really. Yeah, if you were going to say Starbucks or Costa or some coffee shop, you pay more than that for a, a oh, cake. Mate, probably, yeah, so. they taste so good. But so anyway, yeah. yeah, that's enough of that. We're gonna try and resist eating anymore <laughs> and probably get to bed because it's getting a bit late. But if we do do any more filming or eating those, we'll pop it in before the end of this video anyway. But thanks anyway, yeah. for watching guys. So far, yeah, thanks for watching guys. We do appreciate all the comments and the likes and the subscribers. Um, and yeah, if you have any ideas for any videos that you want us to do, let us know. Pop it down below. <laughs> uh, we'll speak to you next time guys. Bye. Bye.